You are welcome to the first video of a new course, Yang Based Network Automation using NetConf, RESTConf, and GNMI. In this lesson, first we'll compare CLI based network automation that we have discussed in the previous section with the Yang based network automation tools which will be discussed during this course. Then we'll compare NetConf, RESTConf, and GNMI Yang based network automation protocols. In the previous section, CLI based network automation using Python Nornia, we have used NetMiko, Scraply, and Napalm plugins to send CLI commands to many devices at the same time and automate the network. But one challenge with CLI based automation is that different vendors and even different devices of the same vendor use different CLI syntax. Also, the output of show commands are text-based, which require using regular expression to pass the output and get some information. However, Google and Cisco have already prepared text FSM and Jenny parser that help us to convert the text format of the output into a structured format that can be easily processed by programming language. However, Yang-based network automation uses a Yang hierarchical data structure that is natively structured and therefore provide the capability to programmatically configure and also monitor network devices. In other words, in Yang-based network automation, we don't send CLI commands anymore, but we update or read the data inside Yang data structure. If you don't have any background knowledge about Yang protocol, don't worry. In the next few sections and lessons, we will discuss the Yang data structure in more details. But just to get a first feel, the Yang data structure is something like SNMP MIP structure, which is hierarchical and can be a standard or vendor specific. SNMP MIPs are mostly used only to monitor operational status of network devices, but Yang data structure was invented to add and update the configuration, monitor the configuration, and also monitor the operational data. One advantage of Yang data structure is that if devices from multiple vendors use the same Yang data structure, we configure the devices in the same way and independent of the vendor without worrying about the CLI syntax. The other advantage of using Yang in network automation is that the output of show commands are always structured and can be easily processed with programming language. Therefore, we don't need a parser to process the output of show commands to access a specific piece of information. There are three protocols, NetConf, RESTConf, and GNMI, which use Yang data structure to monitor and configure network devices. The NetConf protocol is the oldest and the most mature protocol used to automate the network. RESTConf is used to programmatically read or update the configuration of a network device and network softwares, but it is still not suitable for bulk network automation. But the trend is in the favor of RESTCON protocol. And in addition to network devices, most networking softwares like Cisco ACI, Cisco DNA Center, and Cisco ICE has the capability to be programmed through RESTCONF protocol. GNMI is the latest protocol that also use Yang data structure. At the time of this video, there are a few vendors and devices that support this protocol. Arista EOS and Cisco iOS XR fall between these devices, which only have limited support to GNMI. This table shows the key differences between these three protocols. The protocol NetConf use RPC commands over SSH protocol to send and receive data to or from the Yang data structure in network devices. RPC is an 
all protocol to send remote commands over the network. In netconf, data must be encoded in XML data format. If you have no prior knowledge of the data encoding methods like XML, JSON, protobuffer, or YAML, we will cover them throughout the course. With netconf, it is possible to configure network devices, update or delete the configuration of network devices, monitor the configuration, and also monitor the operational data, such as interface statistics. Get, get config, and edit config commands are the main commands sent through RPC over SSH on the netconf protocol. As the name suggests, these commands are used to retrieve the operational data, get the configuration, or add, update, and delete the configuration of network devices. In summary, netconf protocol is most usable and mature Yang-based protocol used in the network automation, and most of network devices support this protocol. RESTConf is another Yang-based network automation protocol, but with some limitation in compared to NetConf, which makes it unsuitable to be used as a bulk network automation protocol. To give some limitation of RESTConf, it does not support multiple data stores, such as running configuration, candidate configuration, and a startup configuration. Therefore, the commit capability of iOS XR and Jonos devices is not supported by this protocol. It also does not support rollback to revert back the configuration, and it is also not possible to configure multiple devices at the same time simultaneously, and devices are configured one by one. However, RESTConf is the most trend automation protocol especially that today's network are SDN based networks and the entire network is configured through one management software. Examples are Cisco ACI in data center and Cisco DNA center and Cisco ICE in LAN networks. These softwares are fully programmable and REST API is the most common method of programming these softwares. Therefore, the entire network can be programmed through the RESTConf and STN controller. RESTConf communicate with network devices or network software through HTTPS protocol and through normal HTTP commands. GET, POST, PUT, PATCH, and DELETE are the most common HTTP commands to get the configuration, get operational data, or add, change, and delete the configuration. In RESTConf, data can be encoded either XML or JSON in compared to NetConf that data is encoded only with XML. The difference of XML and JSON are discussed throughout the course. The latest and most modern Yang-based network automation protocol is GNMI, which uses Google RPC to send command over HTTP version 2. Google version of RPC, which is more efficient and has high communication speed that uses Google invented protobuf messaging format to send and receive data. This protocol has also get and set commands to get configuration and operational data, and also add, change, and delete the configuration. Another interesting command in GNMI protocol that differentiate it from netconf and restconf is subscribe command. With a subscribe command, you can subscribe your automation script to receive any interesting data in real time or in a scheduled interval. It is typically used with open source telegraph collector software to collect subscribe real time data and the open source Grafana software to create the graphs which provide real time network visibility to the network. 
the biggest challenge with GNMI is that most network devices still don't support or only partially support GNMI. But it seems to be the next generation automation protocol. All these three protocols will be discussed and also demonstrated during the course using Python libraries.